Welcome in to the DNVR Avalanche pregame show presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Use code DNVR when you sign up for a new account to get amazing odds boost every single day. Rudo, Megan, and Blaze coming to you live as the Avs will take on the New York Islanders in just a little bit here. But before we get into the game itself, the other Avs news of the day, they trade Dryden Hunt for Dennis Mulgan with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mulgan, most famous for whenever he does anything, someone autocorrects his name to Malkin. <laughs> Uh, that about sums up how often anything happens in his career. But Dryden Hunt, I think on this podcast, everyone would comfortably say it hasn't really worked for the Avalanche and him. Things just never really clicked for him. They flip him for, for Mulgan, who's another... I, I feel like fringe is a little bit harsh. You know, these are guys with over 100 NHL games. They're, they're established NHL players, but pretty low-impact guys... Mulgan, unfortunately, won't be in tonight, but what can we expect from him in the future? I framed it similar to what we wanted to expect from Dryden Hunt, too, and it sounds really mean to say just not necessarily a lot. They are different players, though, in what Dryden Hunt brought energetically. You are hoping is where Mulgan's skill upside will separate from, but the issue has been the lack of finish in Mulgan's game. But I do know that this is an Avs team kind of desperate for a scoring touch and so I think that that is sort of where they made concessions with just one for one this trade because yeah. it did feel inevitable that Dryden Hunt was nearing going back on waivers and would also inevitably be claimed so just to not lose him for nothing there's this guy who there's that potential for the scoring upside you'd like to see a finishing touch that's the hope but to, to say that's an expectation wouldn't <laughs> yeah. be quite fair a little harsh for sure Ed, I mean look he's five foot nine He's definitely not going to bring the physical side to his edge, to his game that uh, uh, Hunt did. So just not really going to be that type of player for the Avs. I agree with you. You're hoping for some goal scoring there. Out of him, he has two goals and two assists for four points in 23 games this year, which isn't much, but it's more, it's more than, than dry Hunt. Hunt. <laughs> exactly. Maybe this change of scenery for both of these players will kind of jumpstart them a little bit. That's, I, I imagine, the hope. It's certainly... Even if this amounts to very little, the Avs had nothing to lose here, right? They'd well, it seems like the Avs, like, you know, every time they pick one of these guys up, seem to get the best out of them. That's true. It's almost like the coaching staff and the training staff is kind of like the dog whisperer for hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell them exactly what they need to hear. and it. Yeah, they go out there and show <laughs> me your game, and then they, you know, correct the things that they see that's wrong with it that maybe they don't see. I think the versatility, too, as a forward. I think they plan sure. to use him as wing to start, but he is an option Can at center slide. as yeah. needed. Yeah. And that was something that Dryden Hunt didn't really have um, as well. Yeah. And I think they are really looking for some options in the middle right now. So I do think they like that flexibility. Yep. Uh, as, as we saw, Foodie, ultimately, the guy who uh, is sent back down for McDermott to return to the lineup. We'll talk to that in a second. First, this game on the whole, it's Georgiev going for the Avs, Sorokin going for the Islanders. Are we going to see a goalie duel here, or do you think we're going we're gonna to see some scoring? I don't want to ruin Blaze's bets. I don't know if you took the over or the under or not tonight. But. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Keep us waiting. <laughs> but, again, and, and we brought this up a couple games ago, right now it seems like lower event, lower scoring games seem to lean the Avs, Avs way. Do you want to see the Avs break out of that and start scoring more goals, or would you like them to stick to, I don't want to call it an identity, but it's what's working for this roster right now? I think that's still a part of their identity. It's just like the missing piece. It hasn't okay. fully loaded. <laughs> sure. And so I'd like to see them break out of that a little bit. Okay. I don't know that that's my expectation because Sorokin is such an excellent goaltender that I'm not expecting high event hockey to just happen tonight, but it would be a great opportunity for them to decide to start scoring goals all over the place. Because everything that Megan just said, I'm going with a high scoring game. <laughs> <laughs> just feels like it's one of those times where it's like bound to happen. And it Eventually. feels like it might be, yeah. Yeah, it might be tonight. Yeah. Kill car hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you're just due. That's the way it works. Uh, you know, again, you kind of feel your way out through games right now with Colorado. Yeah. If they're going early, great if they're not we've seen their willingness to to battle through hockey games but 
at very least, they need to stay in touch, right? Right now, this team can't get down by two. It can't do those types of things and still feel comfortable. So you would certainly feel a lot better if they could get a lead, create a bigger lead, do those types of things. That, we, that involves scoring multiple It sure goals. does. It sure does. I just don't know if I believe they can more, do that or not. More than two. And for what it's worth, you can see it's starting to come. You saw the goal from Newhook the other night. Erod has had two points in two games since coming back. I don't want to say you want to get Nuke going because he's been good, but you'd like to see him put one in the back of the net too. Plenty of dudes that you feel like are getting there instead of nothing going on. Well, there's the stability, right? Like, yeah. the lineup hasn't been changing. It hasn't been a carousel. There has been some guys in and out, but for the most part, it's been a lot steadier than it was a few weeks ago. So you're hopefully... You know, starting to see some of those guys gel, understand tendencies. At least finding right something, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully you would score more goals. That is the hope. It does feel like Nichushkin's on the brink of scoring yeah. a goal of his own. It does. So, that Even is if it bounces off a weird body part. I will take it. Yeah, off his chain. Off yeah. <laughs> something. Something's got to go the graphic. We haven't updated that in a while. Did you yes. clean it for a new year? No. Oh, no. A new no, 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 no. <laughs> Just building yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if he can uh, add a new body part to the list. Through the rest of the Avs lineup, uh, this is a question that I know the answer to. <laughs> can Miko keep this going? Can he continue to be the guy night in and night out for this team? For all of the ups and downs the Avs lineup has it's had currently, Without Nathan McKinnon, I think there's been one game that Miko hasn't scored in. So, pretty good when you look at it as a as a whole. I think the Avs are like it's kind of like they go by yeah what he does. As Miko right now, goes, right? they go for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think Miko can score a goal tonight. Like, to <laughs> what degree can he sustain some of what we've seen of him? Right, there have been some go- multiple goal games yeah, yeah. kinds of things. I'm not sure about that. But he can absolutely score kind of a goal by game pace. And hopefully he's just okay. engaged, right? Like when he's engaged, it, he doesn't have to put points up on the scoreboard. But when he's engaged into these games, doing the things that need to happen, all the little things that happen from outside of the scoring sheet. I mean, that that's a big deal because he's basically the guys are looking up to him right now. For sure. Certainly in that forward core. He's yeah. he's the dude. We'll see. Uh, I Certainly can't complain at all about his performance to this point since McKinnon has gone down. You do want to see him get some support, too, though. The games the Avs have won, it's been Miko and some other guys. And then there was that St. Louis game where it was just Miko. (laughs) But for the most part, it takes some other guys around him as well. With that, the lineup changed tonight. Curtis McDermott back in, listed as a forward Bednar, as usual, being a little dodgy about who's actually going to play where, though. I mean, just looking with Dennis not being able to play tonight, yeah. it seems like the fourth line is projected to be some very sheltered iteration of Bad Myers, probably Jacob McDonald, Curtis McDermott, is my best guess. <laughs> I think that's also the case. We've seen... Bednar's aversion to giving Jacob McDonald even five minutes a game at forward. It's entirely possible we could see both McDonald and McDermott get some shifts at D, depending on the way the game's going. Yes. I just don't know really what to expect. I mean, look, getting McDermott back, I guess... It does make a little bit of sense that the Avs might look to move on from Hunt at that point because McDermott is now the guy in the lineup who's, yeah, I'm just going to go run into some stuff. But how much stuff can you run into in five minutes of ice time? (laughs) It's just not not super impactful hockey usually. As the Avs continue to get healthy, do you see McDermott as, as sticking in this lineup? When Mulligan gets here, is it probably McDonald that's that's on the outs here, or is it even Ben Myers that could be on the outs there? I think it's more realistically um, McDonald or okay. Myers. Yeah. Especially because of the ease of which you can move Myers up and down. Right. I think that grants them more flexibility to do that without worrying about having someone like Jacob McDonald get claimed, which may or may not happen. We just 
are in a weird room right now where Magna gets claimed. So Weird guys have been getting claimed lately. Yeah, it's really so. hard to say. I think it might depend on how these next few games go for Curtis McDermott That's out there as well. That's a fair point. It's like, you know, it, it's one of those things where you have the known uh, McDonald out there. <laughs> you know what you're going to get from him night in, night out. And, uh, you know, Curtis hasn't played a game in a while, so you don't really know where his game's at. So I, I think this is really going to be like, who's going to shine a little bit better through these next few games? Go out and earn it for that bottom line, guys, yeah. essentially. Okay. Fair enough. I, Which I, is, it's healthy, right? On a healthy oh, for team, sure. you yeah. should be going out there and. I mean, on a healthy team, spot. I don't know if any of these guys are in That's the very, lineup. <laughs> but very true. Certainly not a forward. But, uh, yeah, still a little bit of a ways from that. It does sound like Darren Helm is close still in a non-contact <laughs> but it, it the never-ending treadmill of the abs guys are slowly coming back continues yeah. so mcdermott just the next one on the list before we get into the bets have a have a bet of my own to ask first goal scorer who are we going with oh if we're gonna go first goal i'm going miko rantanen yeah just, okay boring yep Nitish. boring and safe Nachushkin. Nachushkin, fun. I have a big parlay right on Kale McCarr scoring a goal. Not oh, first, that's but good. I'll just has to score. Yeah. He's due. Just All right. get it out of the way early yeah. for me, Kale, and we'll call it good. What do we have for bets from Blaze's side? Well, since we were talking about these low scoring games, I went the opposite direction here. <laughs> uh, first one is saves. So 29 you, and a half saves. Uh, you think the abs are going to pelt him a little bit? I mean, you know, if you watch the games, they usually get over 30 it's shots. It's true. Yeah, so it's true. It, it's, it's kind of a safe Some of bet. those usually go in, though. Yeah. I've got Miko shots on goal at three and a half because he's going to have to yeah. be active. Yeah, I like if that. If that is happening, the, I mean, look at the over on goals right now yeah, for an Avs game. It's like unheard of. It's awfully again. low. Five and a half goals. It's still minus 110. That's still good money back. So. Yeah, I... I'm I'm happy with all three of those bets, to be honest. The one I'm skeptical about is Sorokin getting that many shots. Yeah. Mostly because I hope the Avs get a lead early and then just chill on it, but all those sound good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. I've never made a gamble before. Thoughts? No notes. No notes. I, that... Never made a gamble before, but it's like Nostradamus over here. Like, <laughs> that last this one? This is the first person that's going to score in these six games tonight. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh no, I was curious. That last one is that the total? So it's like total yeah, goals for both teams, both teams both over both five and a half goals. So over f- wow. So just six goals. So three, you know, three four. Wow. Four to two would do just four fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see which way the game goes. You never really know. Yeah. There was a feeling of the Avs are due for for some goal scoring from that couch. So. They've graduated. Well, Charles, is, Charles isn't there anymore. So <laughs> they've graduated from the Houdon homies to the over ostriches. Goals, 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 goals. <laughs> uh, we're gonna keep this one quick for you. Game and puck drop is in about ten minutes. Uh, we will be live for the watch along as well as the post game show. So be turning. Be sure to turn in, even, I can speak, uh, to at very least the post-game show if you don't want to watch the game with me and lose your mind when I make random noises like, Wah! that's kind of what it's like for the most part. <laughs> uh, we appreciate all of y'all. Uh, we will talk to you if you're on the watch-along in just a little bit. Oh, these are interesting. They have power on the